When people think of volcanoes in Europe, they tend to think of actively erupting volcanoes in Italy, such as Mount Etna. However, there is another country in the region which also contains a geologically active volcano, Germany. In fact, Germany contains not one, but two volcanoes. You might at first think that it sounds absurd for potentially active volcanoes to exist in Germany. Yet, if you look around western Germany, you will find numerous large circular depressions in the ground which are too large to have been caused by warfare. Measuring between 100 and 1,000 meters wide, these explosion craters are termed Mars and are the result of explosive volcanic eruptions in the last 750,000 years. Additionally, at several locations in the countryside, large amounts of carbon dioxide are released on the surface. One example is the Locker Sea caldera, where carbon dioxide bubbling is quite prevalent in the lake due to a shallow body of magma underneath the water. This video will discuss the West Eiffel volcanic field, which erupted three times in the last 12,000 years. The West Eiffel volcanic field can be found in West Central Germany, where it is relatively close to the border with Luxembourg. Specifically, this large volcanic complex is centered around the town of Don. In total, it covers an area of 600 square kilometers and contains 240 separate eruptive centers. Much like the Hawaiian Islands, the volcanic activity in this part of Germany is caused by a hotspot in the mantle referred to as the Eiffel Hotspot. Every few tens of thousands of years, magma from this hotspot reaches the surface, thus causing a new eruption. Volcanic activity began in the West Eiffel volcanic field approximately 730,000 years ago when a volume of magma from the underlying hotspot breached the surface. Soon, intermittent small explosions began and quantities of lava were ejected in a several hundred meter radius. Over time, this created an ever-growing cinder cone which grew in height to 200 meters tall. Although difficult to see today, two of the oldest cinder cones in the volcanic field are also the tallest, which are labeled on screen. As volcanic activity continued for hundreds of thousands of years, approximately two-thirds of the eruptions produced additional cinder cones. However, on occasion, a volume of magma was insufficient in size to reach the surface. However, such a small body of magma intruded into an area with abundant groundwater. The heat of this magma then caused the groundwater to flash to steam, causing an immense amount of pressure to build. Eventually, this pressure became too great and the ground exploded upwards in what is termed a phreatic eruption. Throughout the landscape of this volcanic field, you can find more than 150 large Mar explosion craters, some of which measure more than a kilometer across. As an example, the 40,000-year-old Mirfelder Mar, which is now filled with a crater lake, measures 1,600 meters wide and 137 meters deep. The most recent sequence of eruptive activity began in the southern section of the field in 8740 BC. A large explosive eruption resulted in the creation of the several hundred meter wide Olmener Mar. Then, in 8300 BC, two more phreatic eruptions occurred which resulted in the creation of adjacent Mar explosion craters. Due to the eruptive frequency within this volcanic field, it is safe to say that an eruption is overdue. On average, an eruption occurs about once every 3100 years. Before the next eruption occurs, a number of warning signs will be present. Initially, earthquakes which are not too common within Germany will increase in frequency and get shallower and shallower. Then, small amounts of uplift in the ground will create small cracks and be detectable by satellite. Third, increased emissions of carbon dioxide will become apparent. Thus, when the next eruption occurs, it will require the complete evacuation of everyone in a 10 kilometer radius. Although the vast majority of eruptions in this field only produce cinder cones, the more forming eruptions which also occur are highly explosive. These have regularly produced pyroclastic flows which have at times traveled 8 or more kilometers away, incinerating everything it touches. Using the US Geological Survey method of rating volcanoes, the West Eiffel volcanic field will be classified on the upper end of the moderate threat category. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.